What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bold Seat Fishing. Today we are going to do a walkthrough of my brand new Crescent Kayaks Light Tackle. Check it out. are enjoying my last video that I posted up about my number one bait for the 2020 season but today is a very exciting day here at the Bulls Deep Fishing family or Bulls Deep Fishing household is I got a new boat in the garage and it is my brand new boat for the 2021 season it is a crescent light tackle and so I got a, a huge video series planned just for this boat alone and some more boats for crescent kayaks but today we are going to do just the a walkthrough of the Crescent Light Tackle, you know, talk a little bit about it, you know, let me show you a few things and how it is set up as the standard feature. So if you just buy the boat brand new off the showroom floor, whatever you want to call it, not getting no add-ons, not deck padding kit or anything, basically what you're getting as it sits, as a brand new price, if you buy it online or buy it, you know, from any, from any, any dealer around. So um, a little bit of detail about the Crescent Light Tackle it is, it is kind of a special boat. It is a very universal boat. This boat you can take in rivers, creeks, open water, oceans, lakes, name it. You can take this boat anywhere. It is perfectly designed to be a great paddle boat for any type of conditions. And that's what pointed me in the direction for Crescent Light Tackles. It's simple, it's basic, but it's very, very universal. And it's pretty lightweight. So it comes in at 12 foot, 4 inches long. It is 34 inches wide, so the stability is crazy in this boat. Um, it comes in at a 75 pounds with no tackle or anything added to it. That includes the seat and the boat itself. And then also the weight capacity of this is going to be 450 pounds. So it is made for just about anybody in the industry to be able to paddle and get in this great paddling performing boat. I mean, it's going to be a huge difference for me for the 2020 2021 season um you know i'm gonna get back to my roots of more paddling getting some of that shoulder exercise you know getting out and enjoying what i what originally i fell in love with kayaking or kayak fishing in general just being closer to nature you know basically all manpower and you know just soaking up all the nature all of god's great creation that he has created on this earth and that's one thing I am so looking forward to being in this Crescent Kite. But um, I am filming by myself today on my phone. So I will be taking the camera off of the tripod and I'll be kind of walking you through all the standard features for the Crescent Kayaks Light Tackle. So let me get everything switched around and we will get right into this thing. Let's do it. And work to the back. It's a little bit easier for me to, to film it this way versus seeing all my crazy mess I have going on here because I'm about to rig this puppy out to the max. But you know, there's going to be other videos regarding me rigging this boat. This is, like I said, this is just the standard feature. So whenever you buy this boat brand new from any dealer and don't get no add-ons with it, this is what you're going to get. Like I said, we're going to start from the front and go to the back. Should go pretty smooth, pretty fast, but you know, I, I tend to talk a lot like I'm doing right now. So let's just get right into it. So starting at the, at the front of the boat, you have a nice, durable, hard plastic molded handle. Um, very secure, easier to, um, in my opinion, easier to be able to transport the kayak and move it a whole lot better when it's more of a sturdy, you know, solid handle versus your webbing handles. I feel like whenever you're trying to move a boat around with using a webbing handle, it kind of you know, you're putting in more effort just to get the boat moved around. And as you see, guys, while I'm already right here, look at the contour and just the way the hole is made. The reason for that is because this is such an outstanding paddle, paddling boat, this is why they did the hole this way. Um, it's, it 
handles obstacles a whole lot better, handles moving water a whole, whole lot better, very easier and better to maneuver. Um, it just makes it more easier to enjoy your time on the water instead of fighting, you know, the winds and the currents when you're trying to paddle. It just makes it a an easier an easier time to paddle and it just makes it more fun out on the water. But moving on down, this is the new Westbrook Supply Co. Tow flag. Phenomenal. I love that place. Gotta love it. Oh, and that new logo. Boom. Anyway, guys, moving on down. So up top, you do have a nice dry, or I won't say completely dry hatch, but it is, I would say watertight because it does have a rubber seal around it. Um, I haven't been in a lot of current to get a lot of oversplash over the boat to see if it really hold, you know, stays true and is tight into the water, but there's no latches, so it's just sitting right there on top. So I'm sure you'll be able to get water into it. So if you are putting anything in here, extra dry clothes, you know, batteries or anything like that, make sure they are protected, you know, in a either a waterproof bag or a waterproof container. So you can bet, you know, where you're not damaging your electronics or any of your dry clothes you have for the day. On top of it too, and this is what's really, I really enjoy um, about this boat right here is kind of the, the home, I'm calling it the hometown features of this kayak. So these kayaks are made in Georgia at Carrollton in Carrollton, Georgia. And there's a lot of smaller businesses around Car Carrollton, Georgia as well, like rock climbing businesses and so on and so forth. And so they've taken those other companies' products and kind of inter integrated them into the boat. And that's what I love most about it. Um, but going back to the hatch here, um, it is a lot of good space. Let me go ahead and pull it off here. Um, inside the hole itself that on down as you see in the back it has that rubber seal that goes around it so it makes it somewhat watertight um in here access to the whole portion or the from the front and all the way to the back of the kayak itself you can fit eight foot rods in this puppy you can stock this sucker full with camping gear numerous rods numerous gear there's plenty plenty of room in the hole in the front hatch access and what's cool about it is you can access it you know you can easily access to put your rods your rod tips down or even the butt of your rods down into the boat that way. So really, really useful. A lot of good space to use here. I'm, I'm lo really looking forward to it this year to, to put this front hatch to work and really hold a lot of good gear. Um, but going back also on top of the front hatch itself is you have um, these bungee cords. And these bungee cords aren't your, and I can just fill them and, and look at them. They're not your typical bungee cords. This is another company they have not necessarily partner with, but they use one of their products is a rock climbing business out of Carrollton, Georgia. And that's why they get all their bungees and their, their handles and all sorts of stuff like that for their kayaks. And this is just, you know, this is a more durable bungee cord. Um, it's a little bit thicker, so it's going to hold up a whole lot better. Um, and you got, you know, four access point or four latching points. You have one on each corner, but then you also have your hooks in the middle so you can take your bungee and strap it straight across so you can, you know, secure that top or that front hatch as much as possible. Moving on down, um, and a lot of people think this is kind of plain Jane, but to me that this is, comes in a lot of useful areas. So right here, right past the hatch of the boat or the front hatch of the boat, you have this nice little, I want to call it a center console, but it's not really a center console. So it's just a, you know, avoiding the boat to help, you know, with the molding of the boat, but this is going to come very, very handy into rigging. So this sucker right here, you can rig just about anything on it. I've seen people put their fish finders right here, mount a ram bot or some type of mounting point right here. And then also, you know, a track system right here, which that's what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a track system right here, right on top. And what's really cool about it is too, guys, into this hatch, you have access to the back of this as well. So if you're using any clipping wiring nuts or or through hole screws that have nuts on the back, you can easily access this section of the boat very, very easily be able to mount your stuff very, very well. So that's one thing that I absolutely love about this boat is it's simple, it's wide open, and that's what I like is a wide open landscape in my working space, but it also has a good sturdy area to be able to you can mount your electronics or really whatever you want to put right here. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do a, a track mount right here with a camera mount and potentially my phone mount and all sorts of stuff like that. Moving on down are your foot pegs. Um, your foot pegs are really cool and I'm glad they went back, went back to these types of foot pegs. Um, a lot of the other kayak companies in the industry, they're going to a different style of foot pegs and it just makes it very very confusing what i really like about this is 
Um, the foot peg is, is also on a track system as well with grooves in between. And all you do to move your peg is just push this in and slide it forward and aft. And that comes in really, really handy, especially with someone smaller like me. I'll probably be having to push my pegs all the way to the front. But it gives you more of a universal application to be able to, you know, set your foot pegs where you want them to a more comfortable and enjoyable time on the water. I absolutely love how they went back to, um, not necessarily they went back to, but why they integrated these types of foot pegs into the boat itself. It's just more user friendly and better, better easy, or more better to me. I know that sounds stupid, but. Trust me, I've been in a lot of different boats here. Uh, moving on back, this is, as y'all know, if y'all seen any of my other videos, this is my working space. So this is my my deck, my area where all the work is taking place and it's very open and clean and that's what I love about it. Not only that, standard feature, you can get deck pads for this, which is what I have over here, which you'll see a video of me installing the deck kit onto this boat from Crescent Kayaks. But what's really cool with the standard features, it does not come with a deck pad in this area, but what even what it, in in a, in a way it's actually you know it's not that big of a deal because it is such a rugged and solid force so it's kind of got some texture to it so you're not going to be slipping or falling it's not very sip, sl slippery um, whenever you definitely get water in here um, so I really like how they integrated the texture to the floor itself and how it's slanted different ways so it's very very rugged I really like that as you see here you got a scupper hole right in the middle and then you also have one right in between your legs and then you also have another scupper plug while we're on scupper plugs right behind your seat so when you're sitting in the water's coming down it's going to be able to easily drain out the back and then also obviously in the tank well which we're not here yet but you have another scupper hole right in the back so it's, it's slanted perfectly so all the water is going to run straight off this boat it's going to be phenomenal guys but going back to where i was i'm um, also up front on each side of your working space of your deck area you're going to have track mounts which is phenomenal i'm so glad they integrated track systems and track mounts into this boat already off the showroom floor because that's going to come in so handy um, you're not going to have to do a lot of hard rigging, you know, drilling into your boat or anything like that because they've integrated these track systems, track boats already. So moving on down before I get into more of the working space, because that's a really sweet feature. We'll get to that in just a second. Also on top, right near your track system is you're going to have a pad eye. So if you are putting any rod holders here and you have leashes for your rod, you can easily clip them in right here. So if they do fall into the water or take a swim, you can easily, you know, you're not going to lose your rod the whole day. So I'm glad they put pad eyes throughout this whole boat. Like again, guys, easy, easy rigging, very simple, very complex, but it's so, so universal and so useful, guys. But moving on, this is one of my one of my favorite features of this boat, and I wish a lot of other kayak manufacturers did this, is you have pouches on either side of your seat inside the deck system, or not in the deck system, but inside the deck area in the working space. And what's really cool about that is you can, it's just this little zipper pocket, you can fit your phone, your pliers, your... Uh, spare hooks or anything like that you can fit them right in this bag but what's really cool about this feature is that you just pull these two bungee cords and there is a storage space space behind the bag itself that's going to come in so handy for those worm bags that you are using you know constantly throughout the day they're not scattered around all through your boat you know you're stepping on them or they're melting in the hot sun you can easily tuck them right in there pull the bungee cords back up and easily have them secured throughout the day and what's really cool is you got one on this side and then also behind this one you have that same little compartment behind the bag itself that's going to come in extremely extremely handy all right guys so moving on down you have the amazing seat by crescent kites guys and i know you can sit here and say well there's a lot of kite companies that have amazing seats you are correct but there's something a little bit special that i found about the crescent seat itself guys so this is the material that seat's made out of is also made in georgia um another small business that that James decided to use, you know, putting into his features of his kayak to help out the smaller business and his, and his other partners in the, or not in the industry, but around his town. So that's really, really cool. Um, but also it's a very durable seat. Um, it's not going to fade. Then also inside the seat, there's already a cushion built into guys. And that is really, really cool because a lot of the other companies, they only have the meshing going across the straps on the bottom. So, and then, you know, after a long day or a long tournament day, you're basically, your butt cheeks are sitting on those straps and it gets just irritating. I'm so glad they have made a cushion inside the seat itself. That's gonna be huge on tournament day. And not only that, guys, 
that look at that lumbar support right there. Look at that just curve of that seat. That is going to be able to get you just right, just on point while you're sitting and in the seat itself where you're not going to have those back pains throughout the day on tournament day or long river floats or anything like that. So that's going to come in extremely, extremely handy this year for the 2021 season. Also, you have numerous different areas that you can adjust your seat. You got two on the back. You got three straps on the back of the seat. And then you also have your two straps on each side or one strap on each side of the seat. And then also under the seat, you have another, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different areas that you can adjust your seat and the cushion of the seat to be able to fit your body type the best. And that's going to be extremely, extremely helpful. Guys. But moving on, guys, I went ahead and pulled the seat out um, under the seat. Um, as you see here, there's these four notches inside the deck of the boat. That is what holds your seat base to the deck itself while you're while the seat is in the kite. Now, keep in mind, guys, that you do not have to use the seat. A lot of people now are switching to more of a cooler type seat so they can keep their drinks cold or their bait cold, whatever they need to, and they're just using that to seal in the seat, which is really, really cool too. It's And they've already thought of that too into making this boat is right here are straps that hold your seat in place, okay, guys, when your seat's inside the boat. But what you can do, guys, is you can unscrew this right here and put in longer webbing so if you do have a cooler, you can easily strap it all the way across the cooler, keep that cooler secure while it's in the boat. So that's gonna come in extremely, extremely handy, especially I know a lot of river guys that instead of using a seat, they use a cooler to sit up just a little bit higher. Um, and, then, and the reason for they sitting up higher is so they can easily access in and out of the kayak. Um, but also, to, like I said, keep your lunch, keep your drinks cold, your bait cold, whatever it might be. So that's gonna come in very, very handy. I'm glad they went ahead and integrated the strap, not only to hold to the seat down, but also you can change out this strap to fit a cooler. Also on each side of the seat, where the seat goes, you have these other two bungee cords. Right here, you can fit really anything, but what it's mainly used for is you can fit a plano box or a tackle box in between that, and then you can turn on and strap that over and keep that tackle box secure while you're going through the rough water or anything like that. So that's really cool. So you have easy access to tackle while you're sitting in your seat, um, and, it, and it comes in an area where it can get secured as well. That's gonna come in very, very useful. Another thing that's not on this boat is, a, is not a paddle holder. But what you also can do is with this bungee cord is you can put your paddle, the top end of your paddle under the bungees of in front of the kayak, and then you can turn around and strap it down right here on the latches where your tackle box storage is. You can easily strap it in so you, you're already having a secure area for your paddle. I'm not gonna be able to do that one-handed. But anyways, moving on, moving on back, guys. Like I said, there's a scupper in the back. So when you are sitting down, all that weight's pushing down. It's gonna make that water very, very easy to run off with. And I'm glad, another thing too, is I'm glad they made a centralized area for the scupper plug or the scupper hole. Because a lot of times you'll have a scupper plug on each side. And so you're trying to rock the boat back and forth, back and forth, trying to get all that water out. I'm glad they made a deep channel so easily, if water does get past this scupper, the, the channel continues up underneath there and it'll drain out very, very nice, nicely out the back so you can have a dry ride the rest of your river float or the rest of your day fishing. Moving on back to the back, guys, right behind the back seat and minus these, these do not come on the boat. Definitely something you need to get on your boat, but these rail blazer rod tubes do not come on the boat. Just those are just there because I was messing with them last night. I just, I couldn't wait no longer. I need to start rigging. But um, on the boat comes with a Yak Attack Mighty Mount here um, that can easily fit any type of track mounting system. So that's really, really cool feature. They didn't want to do um, in hole rod storage because they feel like that was more of it takes away from the whole integrity and then also it just comes along the way a lot of people either patch them or move them and it just they would rather have something that is, you can just mount right to it and easily uh, take it on and off whatever you want to do with it so that's why they did that right there and as you see here behind each one of them you have a pad eye so you can easily if you do have rods in there or a net and you have a leash to them you can easily leash it straight to the pad eye and it's secure so if it does fall in the water it ain't going to go nowhere um another thing too is i haven't really um dived into it much but what's really cool is as you see here guys this is a different texture of plastic okay so you have smooth plastic on the top but then you have more of a rugged kind of like what's on the floor system um, in the deck area of the boat. So what's really cool about that is that top area is not going to be slippery because if you, if you're anything like me is whenever I get into the boat, you know, say it's a 
February morning of a tournament in the middle of February, freezing cold in Georgia. I don't like to get my feet wet to be able to have wet feet the rest of the day. So what I typically do is I typically drop my boat in the water, pull the boat back to the boat ramp, and then turn around. And I usually step inside the tank well or right here and be able to access and get into my seat. And the reason for that is because I don't want to get my feet wet, but that's why they made this more of a textured type plastic on top of here because you can easily, it's not, it's not as a slippery surface. So that's definitely going to come in handy as well. And guys, moving on back, check out this ginormous, ginormous tank well right here. I mean, it's huge, guys. I mean, it's got to be over three feet long, which comes in very, very handy. So there's so many different types of crate systems nowadays in the industry. You got black packs. You got Yak Gadget low-profile crates. You got feel-free crate bags. You got new canoe uh, crate boxes. You got literally anything. I mean, there's so many different types, and they're all different sizes. And so um, that's another reason why they integrated more of a larger tank well. But not only that, you can still have your black pack or your Yak Gadget Low Pro crate in here, but you also have access behind it to be able to, you know, put a tent or put your lunch box or put a cooler. Really, I mean, this they, the reason why they made it so big is basically you can take this out and you can do just about anything with it. That's why I absolutely love this boat because it's so universal. No matter if you're fishing a kayak tournament or you're floating the river with your boys and you're going camping, you have plenty of room to strap down your tents, your hammocks, whatever it is, right in the back of the tank hole. And on top of that, you have access to the front hatch with all that enormous space in the front hatch. But also inside the tank wall itself is you have already deck padding in the back of the tank well. Okay, and that comes on a standard standard feature. Okay, so the reason for that is is because when you do have your since it's such a larger tank well, and you do have your different types of you know crates and black packs and and crates and or I've already said crates and coolers and so on and so forth. You didn't want that stuff sliding around, so they went ahead and gave you two deck pads on each side of the tank well to better keep them keep those certs. Keep, look, keep those certain items secure inside the boat while you're going down the water without having to pay anything extra for it. That's the phenomenal part about it, guys. You don't have to pay extra for that. Um, moving on down, you have two tracks on each side of the tank well. As you see, it comes with a standard, your bungee cord, just like it is up on the front. You have the bungee cords in the back. Um, but what's really cool about this is you can easily turn these knobs and adjust this bungee cord however you like it so that's going to come in real handy because sometimes i don't always use the bungee cord i'll slide my bungee cords back to fit my crate but i want to be able to still have my bungee cords in the back to strap down you know a tent whatever it might be in the back so you can easily slide those forward and aft to, to better fit your needs or you can take the bungee cord completely off if you like to so that's what that's another cool feature too um and it's a very long bungee cord, so you can really strap down just about anything with this bungee cord. So that's going to come in extremely handy. Um, but then also with the track system already integrated into the boat, you can easily mount other types of mounts like camera boom 600s or um, other rod holders to hold nets or any really anything like that you can fit in the back of the tank wall. So that's going to come in extremely, extremely handy. And then moving on back towards the back of towards the back of the kayak or the transom, which we'll get to in a second. Um, you have another two pad eyes on each side of the handles um, so you can better secure items there. So as you see, the bungee cord doesn't go all the way back of the tank well. So you can use these pad outs here to secure anything else that you have behind the bungee cords. And then you have two another uh, two rugged handles on the back. And what's really cool about that is I hated having a handle dead in the middle because whenever I'm trying to drag it or anything up the river, it's always teeter-tottering back and forth, back and forth. And easily now, you can easily, if you don't want to load it yourself, you can have help with someone so you can have a handle, they can have a handle, or you can use both handles, whatever you want to do. They just, I like how they integrated the double handles in the back. And then what another phenomenal feature to the Crescent Light Tackle is the flat back transom, okay guys? And the reason for that flat back transom is everyone is moving now to a more of a trolling motor type setup, especially for tournament days or better enjoy their time on the water. And that's what Crescent is all about, is to integrating different features into their boats to be able to better enjoy yourself on the water instead of having to pay extra for something else is already integrated into the kayak so that comes in very very handy for them so basically you don't need any other mounting plate all you can do is just attach your trolling motor straight to the back and you are ready to rock and roll guys but that is pretty much the walkthrough of the crescent light tackle the up close and personal so let me get the camera flipped around i get back with you that's a wrap 
For the full walkthrough of the standard features of the Crescent Light Tackle, I am extremely so excited for the 2021 season and what it's going to hold. Um, and I'm so glad to be a part of Crescent Kites to be able to take that, take them with me wherever I go. I feel like this boat is going to be um, a huge addition for me in the tournaments I'm going to fish and the type of water I'm going to cover and the type of water I'm going to fish. So I feel like this is going to be where it's at. I'm so glad to get back to more of the basics of more paddling and trying to figure out a pedal drive or a motor trying to rig it all up i am going to attempt to rig a motor up on this but that is definitely something to come so y'all stay tuned for that and then also guys if y'all do want to get any add-ons for the cock itself like the deck padding kit the seat riser kit or any other type of accessories that are strictly for crescent kites definitely going over to crescentkites.com and check out everything they have to offer i have already got the seat riser kit for mine uh, all this does, this goes right up under the seat, so you'll see that in a lot of other of my videos as well. Um, basically, all that does, that, that slides right up under the seat, and the seat sits on top of that, and you strap the seat to that. So it just gets you a little bit extra height off the deck, which is what I like to do. And then also, guys, which I'm about to do a video on right now, is installing the Crescent Kites deck padding kit for the light tackle. So definitely stay tuned for that, because that's going to be a really good one. I've seen a lot of questions on Crescent Kites owner's page about installing this and and knowing how to do it so on and so forth so i'm going to walk it through how i'm going to do it and how i believe i feel like this is the way that needs to be done guys so a lot of good stuff coming away and i got a lot of big things planned for this so you'll be seeing a video of the pad deck install which i'm about to do now you also be seeing a video of how i'm going to be rigging out the boat for the 2021 season um, and then uh, a few more of the videos that I have up my sleeve that I can't really share with you right now. So going to be some big, big things coming, guys. But guys, stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. If you all have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section below or shoot me a message on Bulls Deep Fishing on Facebook or Bulls Deep Fishing on Instagram, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned and stay classy, guys. Deuces!